Hey there, game makers, and welcome to the first of a mini series well, for platforming. And there are two reasons why I actually have done this. So, first of all, well, one of my longtime subscribers wanted me to do some moving platforms and portals. Here you go, this is just for you. But also, well, I never did a platformer tutorial series. And I thought like, hey, why not? And well, we got Move and Collide. So this is kind of a, the updated version of that, how to make the game uh, more understandable, easier to set up and so on. So I thought like, hey, uh, let's give that, well, a go. So if you just want to follow me on this little short tutorial series, then stick around. This is One Up Indie. I am a developer. So if you like what you're seeing and hearing, then why not consider sharing, liking and subscribing to the channel? Well, of course. Alrighty, a little bit for housekeeping so you understand the whole context. This is based on uh, Game Maker's Easy Platformer. I will add a few things here and there and we will expand. But for today, we're just going to go for normal platforming. Um, this video will just cover going left, right and then obstacles because there are a few things to consider here so let's get rid of that dude so let's strip the player of all the fancy schmancy stuff which he's having and yeah we can keep that and we're gonna stick to that part and of course just make it all clean so we have everything which we want to have and of course get rid of all the fancy schmancy stuff um before we continue um there are two ways of colliding so basically we can have that via instances so this is the old uh, proven method of just having one well, rectangle sprite and then use this as kind of a wall and then later on make it invisible but of course you can do whatever you fancy or the not so proven method which is doing that with tile sets so basically nothing here and then we're having a tile set and we just draw it on the screen cool method in theory in practice it didn't work i had tons of headaches with that so i just completely gave up on that there were some updates i don't know when a few months ago this is like hey we updated how tile set collisions now they should be working Fingers crossed here, so take that with a grain of salt. First of all, we're just going to do that with a tried and uh, proven method, which is, uh, well, object walls. So here, very easy. We have just one wall parent. And when we stick uh, two children, so here moving and the static, as you can see, there's nothing in there. We just apply a sprite here, which is called uh, object wall, as you can see. It's fantastic. It's basically just a rectangle. So here, uh, and then, uh, and just make it a little bit, um, double click here and then make it a little bit transparent. This is the whole magic behind that. Nothing fancy. And then we face plant the, well, the walls in here. So I just did it. So I don't know, something like this. Just put it on the, onto the screen. Yay. And then um, it should look ugly like this. Uh, here we go. Yeah, something like this. And here we go. So here, once again, ugliness going out. And then the next thing is our object player. First of all, we apply a little sprite to him. This has some relevancy. So we have uh, three sprites. So one for idle, one for walking, one for jumping, falling. Then we, uh, well place that dude where he's supposed to be so something like this we let him hover for a specific purpose because for now we're just going to go left and right so here once again no code nothing is working we just got our obstacle our wall and our player placed so first thing which we want to have is kind of a moving horizontally so to the left to the right and for that we have two variables um well one is for the horizontal and the other one is for the vertical but this one uh we're gonna use and here we want to give it some context some value and therefore we just grab some inputs so from our keyboard this is the same as in the uh, blog post 
we just take a right and left and then move x will be minus one zero or one and then for example we can actually draw that on the screen just for context so you understand what's actually going on so let's say start it then we're pressing to the right horizontal is one press to the left horizontal is zero or we press nothing it is zero okay well uh, minus one to the left to the right plus one and then well uh, nothing in that but of course maybe we want to actually do anything with that because for now we're just like flipping one variable to different values which is super fascinating i guess no <laughs> but we actually want to do something so uh not collision um move and collide here we go and then there are a few input parameters which we want to input here so dx so this is our horizontal speed value dy or we can just set it to zero it doesn't really matter because now we are just hovering in this video here and then what are we bouncing off well our object wall and then of course these children included and then number of iterations let's go with four this is just for for understanding these iterations just mean like hey how many times are we checking are we clipping in like in between so let's say you have a value of four then you divide it by four times or a value of i don't know a bigger value you just divide it by this kind of iterations and then it's just checking hey are we clipping in right now no cool we can move this 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 one fourth part and then this and the second check like hey are we clipping right now no cool then we can move and if we are clipping in then um it's actually pushing out and just saying like hey no more movement for you so this is what the iteration is for higher numbers mean just you have more iterations but of course more uh well power is going to well check in check in check in and therefore four is a good um sweet spot so x often um these kind of values you can just null them they're not important then maximum value for y and uh, here then we just go with minus values for example if you set them to zero your maximum value is uh, of movement is zero which is not very fast so therefore we just go go minus one which is just going unlimited and actually we can check it out and we can move so let's hover a little bit yes left and right hovering already working sweet so this is the first part let's say we want to actually make this a little bit more faster so therefore i'm just cheating a little bit here i have a speed value of movement so for our object player we just add another variable so here this is our player we just say like, hey we want to go faster like two or maybe three so we just uh, take the move value so move x and times well our movement speed and then we kind of accelerate which is kind of neat so we start it again as you can see we are going much faster which is the idea of movement speed and therefore you can actually use this later on for normal going or dashing or running and so on so this is then um kind of a multiplier for your horizontal uh well movement and then well the last thing because uh we can actually do a few things wrong so let's say we say like oh sweet so if this is for sprite handling if we are definitely moving so if this is not zero then we can say like hey our image x scale so this is for flipping x scale is our movement x this is of course a little treacherous because <laughs> what's happening we're getting super big guy which is definitely not a good idea so we kind of zoom out to him <laughs> to the value of three minus or plus so for that we have a little function which is inside it's called sign this will just clamp it down to a minus one or one value or zero and then once we do this we can flip our dude which is great so here our vertical uh, our horizontal part is actually finished is it well, let's go and do the last part, which is a little bit of sprite handling also. So let's say we are definitely moving. So the value is not zero. Then we can just say like, hey, our sprite index for our cool floating ninja is 
sprite walk. And then for example, um, the if not, else, well, it's idle. And then we can actually check it out. So this just means like, hey, are we moving? Awesome. Then our sprite index is set to sprite, like this cool walk animation. If not, well, we go idle and stand still. So here, and then let's check it out. And as you can see, idling, and then we are moving. We are the ninja is going, so as you can see, already looking fancy in doing what it's supposed to be. So this is pretty cool. Okay, there are other pitfalls, but this will be dealt in part two. Have a good one. One up, Indy.